Do you get extra points for rim dimensions, Professor? Uh, no, but you know what you would do is, and so the thing is, realize that when you're you're so this is a let's say this is a 17 inch wheel. That's how you would do it. Um, you are um, you're not you're not you're doing it you're doing it to feet, right? You're not doing it. Oh, this car is one, two, two inches. You wouldn't put two inches over here. You're actually measuring because it's a scale, what, what the full scale is. You don't need to, I don't want you to get carried away on this first activity, just the overall vehicle. But remember, so all the same rules apply. So if then I'm doing the front of this vehicle, I'm gonna have uh, the hood, I'm going to have to know ex everything has to line up again. If it doesn't line up, then you're not doing it right. So all these, all these points, all these bumpers and headlights. And so the wheels, everything's got to line up. And so, you know, you're going to have to guess on some of this, like the, the, the width of the tires. But if the, if the width is on this one, it's showing me that the width at half inch scale is... saying it's 12 inches, right? So if it's here, if it's on 12 inches, it's got to be 12 inches on the other side. So everything's got to make, be the same. So there's my front tire. There's some air scoop. I'm going really quickly here. So then the car actually isn't going to be square. It's probably going to be more like, uh, where's my headlight here? It's a grill. A blinker action. And this is one having a photograph is it doesn't hurt if you have a little photograph. It's just a challenge because a lot of you are still going to try to make it in perspective. All right, so all right, I don't want to get too carried away, but I think you guys can see what, what I'm doing. Chris Bain, are you following along? All right, so kind of weird looking car, I'm not gonna lie. But so that the front view then again, I'd have this if you're gonna have a two inch gap here. Right. So I would, I want you to dimension this. I've got about a two inch gap here. We said that looking at my scale ruler, this is uh, one, one half. So that's, we said it's going to be one, two, three, four, five feet. So make sure you label that five feet. And I, I do want you to take your time. I'm going really fast just so we can avoid a two hour demo. Then I would make the top would have to be, so I'm gonna go up two inches and then that's gonna be five feet. Okay. Any questions so far? Hopefully I'm giving you a decent enough example that you're gonna be all right. The, the hardest thing that you're gonna do is find a vehicle that you can measure uh, and you gotta take a photograph to, to verify that you're not just doing something that you're downloading. I need to see what it is. Uh, and if I don't see it, then Joe is going to come to your house and verify it. No, you aren't, Joe, I'm kidding. Do you want um, attached images of the car? Um, I will ask you at a later date. Okay, but yes, I'm gonna want I'm gonna want you to upload that too at some point. All right. So let's go ahead then, and I'll do my top view of this vehicle. So again, windshield. You, you just want to you know once you do your your side view or whatever you're comfortable with, then you're going to just transcribe all that above it. 
So I've got, uh, remember you would also go like this. You go up and then you do that 45 degree. Is it too hella cheatsy to uh, include in the photograph we take of the vehicle some kind of thing for reference, like uh, a ruler or something like that to help us kind of... Uh, no, go, go, yeah, I guess if you want, I would just go measure. Just get the basic measurements and you'll be fine. All right, so, um, you know, if I want to know where the windshield is right now that I've got this 45 degree, it would come straight up. This is the center of the windshield. I also know where the headlights are here. So maybe that would be better. So there's the beginning and the end of the headlights. And this comes over. So that's where my headlight is. I'm going to keep everything symmetrical. Here's my wind windscreen. Top of the windshield here. And then here's the, so here's the top of the roof. I see over here, it's going to be the same. All right. All right. Top of the windshield here. This is where my roof is. All right, so there's my roof. And the back of the windshield starts here. And it's got a window like that. You can't see it. It just sits like there. Okay, so any questions? How, how much exactly should we measure? Like, should we measure individual parts, like get a measurement of the windshield, a measurement of the uh, tire, know, a measurement of the light, or should we I, just get like a broad I, measurement? Yeah, I would just get an overall measurement. Otherwise, you could spend a month on this project, all right? Just get the overall dimensions. What's really important to me is that you know, you have taken an existing object, you've measured as much as you can. I don't want you doing everything. But so here's the thing about, right? Hypothetically, if if I was completely accurate, I'm not asking you to, to, to put the dimensions of this windshield in here. But if I was like, okay, I need to, to make glass for this or whatever it is, all you would have to do then, because it's the scale, is take your ruler and say, all right, so this back windshield is two feet long, right? Because I know that is the scale. So I can, I can without having all the dimensions in there with a scale ruler, I can get all the dimensions I need. I can determine, oh, my wheels, the diameter or so-and-so, right? So that's kind of the object of what we're doing. You don't need to get crazy on this. I mean, the more detail, the better. Um, but, you know, we're, we're, you know, this is the first time you're doing a project like this. So I think that this demo is, is adequate. I don't like the, my car all that much here, but it looks too much like a front end of a Mustang and maybe a Saab in the back. I don't know. Or maybe a Volvo. It looks like a Volvo in the front. 